Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Megan, and today I'm gonna to be sharing our curriculum picks for science for the 2023-2024 school year. Now, as I said, my name is Megan, if you're new here, and I'm a homeschool mama to six kids. Next year will be our, no, next year will be our 10th year of homeschooling. Wow, uh, that just hit me. I really had nine on the brain because that's the year that we're on now, but it will be our 10th year of homeschooling. I will have an eighth grader, a sixth grader, a fourth grader, a third grader, a first grader, and a pre-K. So, yeah, that's a wide range of kiddos and a wide range of trying to find curriculum to fit them. Now, it was a little bit of a struggle for me this year, and I'll explain that before I really get into this because this kind of also explains my planning process. So especially if you're new to homeschooling or you're homeschooling multiple ages, hopefully this part is helpful for you. I'm not going to go into great depth. So I'm going to kind of explain a little bit about my thought process here with picking what curriculum to use this year for my kiddos because we're not using just one. This is a subject that now we can no longer do completely family style because of the variation of ages of my kiddos. So that has created a little bit of, a little bit of a dilemma for me in the sense that yes, I'm going to have an eighth grader and a sixth grader, and yes, they're both in middle school, but sixth and eighth grade is kind of vastly different as far as like for example, Apologia Science group sixth grade as part of the Elementary Explorer series that they have. Um, and they don't have like their own middle school science per se until seventh grade, which my, my oldest is actually doing currently. So next year, if he were to continue on, he would be doing physical science, which actually can count as a high school credit if it has a lab. And we don't quite want to do that yet. And so I really wanted my 8th and my 6th grader to be grouped together, if at all possible. Um, and then my other kiddos be grouped together, my elementary age kiddos be grouped together. But there was still this back and forth of, well, I could technically put my 6th grader with them if we do like an apologia science or something like that. And then I could still let my oldest be on his own. I looked at curriculum like Science Shepherd that has the video component where if he were to do it on his own, then he would at least like have a video component to it and um, wouldn't feel so alone and left out there like he has this year. Um, and then I thought, well, okay, well, I could do them together and do have them do Berean Builder Science. And I had fully decided on that. And then I was like, oh, but that one, the atomic age may be too much for my sixth grader. But could my eighth grader do like one of the ones in the Berean Builders Elementary series because it is like very in depth. And so you see here, there's just this dilemma of what do we do? What do we do? I have finally decided and I am so contented with it and I'm excited about it and I'm going to share that with you guys now. So let's start with my elementary age kiddos. This will include my first grader and can even include my pre-K son. Um, it'll include my first grader, my pre-K son as he feels led, also my third grader and my fourth grader. So I have decided to actually put a lot more focus on like nature study and stuff like that this year. When I started homeschooling almost 10 years ago, I was very Charlotte Mason minded. I love that um, exploratory mindset for the elementary ages especially. And so I kind of feel like my third and my fourth grader, upcoming third and fourth grader, have kind of missed out on that a little bit other than when they were really little and I, we used to do it all together when my oldest was younger. Um, and so that is something that I really wanted to focus on this year. And so we are actually going to be diving into Gentle and Classical Nature Volume 1. 
Now, I am not going to do a flip through on here. I'll show a few pages on the inside, but my friend Rachel over at 7 and All has several videos on the gentle and classical nature. I actually purchased the bundle. Um, I think the PDF bundle is like $39, and that includes the the instructor's guide. It also includes the student notebooks and any of the accompanying materials that you can print all at home. And so, so far I have just printed off the instructor's guide. I haven't bound it yet. I have like a comb binder system. It was got it on sale on prom day. But anyway, um, but I have looked through a lot of this and I'm really excited about it. So it includes this and as I said, also the student notebooks that you can print. And what's nice is that the student notebooks that are included are at different levels. So there will be a, a little bit easier version of lots of tracing and less writing um, that will be in my first graders and then a little bit higher level for my third and fourth graders. So we're going to focus on that this year. Um, to go along with that, I also found these. So I have been wanting to get these Peterson guides. This is the field guide coloring book for mammals and there's different ones, but I've been wanting to get these just for fun. Um, and I actually found this on book outlet for like $5. Normally they're around 15 and I didn't want to spend that much on this. And so I picked some up on, um, book outlet. And so I was really excited about finding that. And of course there are many resources that are shown to be used in gentle and classical nature. And so we will be using a lot of those. Most of them we already own, but there's a couple I think that I need to grab probably before the school year starts. And then another resource that we have loved this year and will utilize as necessary or just for fun or whatever is we have loved the big book of science and nature. That's the Berenstein Bears. I have had this since my oldest was little and it is just, it has a special place in my heart. So we will be doing the Gentle and Classical Nature Volume 1. So along with that, I have a card here so I can like remember everything that I was going to tell you guys. But um, along with that, at our co-op, we do a co-op one day a week. And um, at our co-op, we actually just had our registration for next year. And so my daughter that's in first grade is really excited to be taking a class called Cat in the Hat Science. And it uses all these different Cat in the Hat books and episodes and things like that to learn science. And so she will also have science at co-op. And then also my third and fourth grader are doing the good and the beautiful science at our co-op as well. They're going to be doing, I know for sure they're doing the new weather unit. And then I think they're doing like some physical science for next year as well. So science will be well covered between gentle and classical nature. And then also um, through our co-op with those two classes. Okay, so what about my older boys? What did I decide for them? <laughs> So I have partially decided and I'll explain this again. You know, I was having a hard time trying to figure out what to do with them and I kind of stumbled upon these units from that that Memoria Press offers. Now this is actually uh, put out by Masterbooks, but this is a whole series. This one is exploring the world of biology and it is just a kind of brief like overview of biology at more of like a middle school level. It's not going to go like into great depth on it. It's not even very thick. Um, but I saw this on the Memoria Press site though and decided to get it because it also had some supplemental components that you could get to go with it. So one of them is like some student questions and so it's a little bit more in-depth student worksheets and also the um, teacher key and tests instead of just doing the um, workbook slash textbook. It's a workbook and textbook in one. Although the student pages in here are not very like in depth. So that was one of the reasons why I liked the option that Memoria Press had the add on supplements for this. Now, as I said, this is a unit. It is not meant to last the entire year. But the reason that I went with this is because this is what I wanted to focus on was more of a biology focus, but I didn't want to go into like 
high school depth on it. So um, I thought this would be a good one to do with both my sixth and eighth grader. So they're going to go through this together. After they finish it, then I will reevaluate and see what fits them next. Now, there is more in this series, and Memoria Press does offer the add on options for those. Um, so, there's one that's trees, there's one that's the history of medicine that looked really interesting. Another thing that I've thought about is after we finished this together is um, using God's design, his physical world from Master Books, which is also Answers in Genesis curriculum. Now, the one from Master Books combines the three Answers in Genesis units into it. So if I were to do that, we could just choose one more unit out of the entire text to focus on after we finish this um, overview of biology. So that is one of the things that I'm kind of leaning more towards. And the reason that I didn't pick a curriculum that was like a whole year curriculum is because my two oldest boys are actually taking a class at our co-op that is a forensics science class. Now this class is pretty in depth. It is for middle school age and it's going to delve into many facets of science within the realm of forensics. It's going to be totally hands-on. They're going to be doing some dissections with it as well which is really awesome and um, they are also supposed to have homework with that class as well. So my thought process is because they are doing that at co-op and I really want them to because it's going to be an awesome class. I'm kind of jealous that I don't get to be in it with them. But because it's going to be such an in-depth like full year class um, for science and they're going to have homework with it and everything, I didn't want to then on top of it introduce like a full year science curriculum. So they will between co-op and then this unit right here and then we'll probably end up moving into one more unit study in the spring next year and we'll just see which one we want to do after this. I may even let them choose um, but that is the plan for them. So that's it. That is the science choices for our homeschool next year. If you all have any questions, drop it down in the comments below. Let me know in the comments also what did you choose for your kiddos this year or this upcoming year or what are you thinking about? What are you trying to decide between? I always love when we can kind of interact in the comments and things like that and um yeah, I hope this video was helpful and I hope to see you on future videos. Stay tuned because there will be more curriculum pick videos coming. Thanks so much guys and have a blessed day.